Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This video contains all of the Black Ops 3 intro and outro cutscenes for Call of Duty Zombies thus far. Assuming there aren't any super crazy secret hidden ones just knocking about in the game files or anything like that, this is all of them. Hopefully you enjoy the compilation, guys. If you do, leave a like. And I'm actually working on a much longer version of this that contains all of the cinematic content we've ever had from zombies. So expect that very soon. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can click through to it and give that one a watch. But for now, here is the Black Ops 3 Zombies cinematic storyline. I know I yelled at you real bad. I know I said some things I shouldn't have said. But I was just angry. Upset. You know how close I am to this movie deal. I mean, they know about my dancing, but those pictures. You don't want to mess up my chance for stardom, do you, baby? What do you say? You bring over those prints and we can... Make up. Hey, we got a problem. A big problem. The mayor's trying to make a name for himself. Sticking his nose where it don't belong. He's looking into allegations of police bribery. What do you say we get together at the usual joint? Talk things through. Figure out a way to put this to bed before it gets out of hand. Trust me, have I ever steered you wrong before? I ain't fought in 18 months. I'm stepping in at the last minute. I only got two weeks to train. But the outcome ain't in any doubt. See, I ain't leaving nothing to chance. He may be the number one contender, but his career ends tonight. You just make sure the ref knows to look the other way, because this ain't gonna be pretty. But once it's done, once you collect your debts and your bets, I get my shot at the title. I do understand the seriousness of the situation. Why else would I be talking to my lawyer? But uh, just to be clear, can you please tell me precisely how much uh, debt my wife has accumulated? Do you happen to know if our life insurance policies are, are fully paid up? No, <laughs> no, 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 I, I can assure you, I'd, I'd never, ever think of taking such a course of action. No, I just want to uh, make sure that our fares are, um, in order. I have been watching. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. But questions remain. Why do you do the things you do? Do you not see the futility of your tiny, insignificant existence? You are but fragments of a bigger universe. Your sins serve only as an invitation. An invitation to an evil beyond your imagination. I'll lead the way. I will show you the path. Only through me, the Shadow Man, will you find your redemption. I'm so sorry. I really don't have time to explain. I have a universe to set right. Thank you, and goodbye.
This ain't funny, Doc. Turn around. Slowly. Do you know who I am? Yeah, we know. That's why you better do exactly what we say. A great evil approaches. There is a chain of events that must be set in motion. Future hangs by a thread. You must awaken the test subjects. side of that door. You cannot begin to comprehend the great evil you could unleash. That wasn't how it was supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. Eat my blade, beast! Ah, fucking move, maggot addicts! Today, you die! Four, three, First, I took your legs! Now, I take four, your life! Four. I should never have trusted you, Richtofen. Never. Launch protocol initiated. 30 seconds to impact! We are eating multiple rocket launches. What have you done? You are a fool, right of it! Even the destruction of this facility and my own death will not prevent the advancement of our cause! supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. I should never have trusted you, Richthofen. Never! You should trust me, Dempsey. You all should. This artifact has the power to contain and preserve the subject's soul. Your soul. 
but it can only be done after the moment of death, just as you saw me do to my other self. It is the only way. Wait! If someone's gotta take him out to save the universe, then it should be me that does it. Good to see you, Tank. in your hand? It's gonna bring you nothing but pain. Believe me, I know. I am an envoy of the Emperor himself. I am no traitor! Recognize them. Almost as though they were my own. Takeo Musaki. I did not believe I would find you in such a place. I was a warrior. I fought many great battles for the glory of our nation. For the honor of the dying samurai spirit. I was a hero. I share this memory. I have lived many of the same victories. I later learned that my victories were unwelcome. His betrayal was driven by petty jealousy. He knew I could endure anything. That I fear not even my own death. Punishment is one thing. This is cruelty. Who could be so evil as to desire another soul to endure such suffering? Who amongst us could be so dishonorable? Are you so blinded by your own loyalty? The orders came from the Emperor himself.
My life. My path. Is it built upon a lie? This realm may have been corrupted and consumed by evil, but we possess the power to change things. A better tomorrow is only possible if we blow away the ashes of the past. None of us choose the means by which mercy will find us. But I am at peace. I understand what must be done. Will you be my Kaishakunin? It is my honor. Kill me now? I am sorry, Nikolai. I wish... I wish there was another way. But know this. In my heart, I share the same pain as you. The pain that you have buried and blurred beneath an alcohol-fueled haze. Yes. 
the pain of your own memory. You loved and you lost. Everything else has been delusional fantasy that distance you from painful truth. You know what I speak of. You remember. Before the bombs fell. Before she was taken from us. Some things are forgotten. For a reason! <laughs> <laughs> It is done. The souls have been collected, Maxis. We will see you soon. Okay, uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You, little. Well, so far, so good. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, especially after so long. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning key here, and you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. Thing is, Max's went and ballsed everything up. Please, you must help me. He heard voices, you see, calling to him. Can we prevent the destruction of your world? It wasn't really his fault. You know, he hasn't actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning synergy and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. The Shadow Man. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. have got way too far out of control. This isn't any vague woo -hoo 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 evil. We're talking about the Apothecons, the most powerful and evil entities in all the existences that ever existed. And now they're here, in our perfect world. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show.
Sophia. Maxis. You know what we must do, my dear. Yes, my love. We will do it together. As one we are. Now and forever. With the evil vanquished, I can start making it all nice again. No undead, no apothecums, no shadow man. All of it gone. Forever. But it, here's the funny thing. You snowflakes shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. Those blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Well, you certainly can't stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over, or I just wipe you from existence. Ooh, hang on. Actually, that all works out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs>